Hey everyone, my name is Cadence and I'm a Black Girls Code alumna. I'm currently in my first year as a computer science major at Spelman College. For this year's Hour of Code, I'm making a song. I'm coding the song on the computer using a software called EarSketch. Let's take a listen. I'm having so much fun, I want to teach you how to do it too. Go to earsketch.gotech.edu in your web browser. EarSketch was created by a team at the Georgia Institute of Technology, Georgia Tech, to help people learn how to code through music. For a little inspiration, let's chat with Bosco Conte to see how he uses code to make music. Yes, hey Cadence, great to meet you. Uh, my name is Bosco. I am a engineer, a music producer, singer, songwriter, tech founder, and a talk box artist, and it's great to meet you. Uh, that was a great introduction. It is so nice to meet you. My name is Cadence Patrick. I'm a computer science major at Spelman College. So did you create that, uh, the artwork in the background? Did you draw that, the headphones? I did, yeah, just a little doodle uh, to have some, some stuff to fill out the background. Nice, very nice. That's a visual art. That's something that I'm learning. I learned actually, I started getting better at drawing uh, in the process of designing Electrospit. The, the, so what I'm wearing is the Electrospit mobile talk box and uh, my history as a music producer, I played talk box on a lot, a lot of records like um, Kanye's workout plan and uh, workout by J. Cole, uh, more recently levitating with, with Dua Lipa. I love that song. And that song is the jam. That's right. So Bosco, how do you use coding to make music? So at Electrospit, we use coding to create the Electrospit TalkBox synth app. And uh, this app is, uh, is, is coded to, you can create a custom interface. So uh, in the real world, you're, you're constrained to, to physics and you, know, you, you hit a drum and it makes a sound. But um, when, you're, when you're coding, you can create any layout that you want. And, and we found a layout that, that works really well on an iPhone. So there's, there's not a lot of space, but there's enough space to play scales if you lay things out right. So uh, you can play with three fingers and we came up with our own playing technique, which is something you can do again with coding is you can um, just customize for exactly how you wanna play a, a, an app or a song. This is what this instrument sounds like. So that is, is so cool. And then another thing that we did was we created um, a strip that's in a scale. So instead of having all the notes of the scale, you can choose if you want to be in a major or a minor scale or a pentatonic scale. And this is a, a, a major scale. And we also added, uh, we can use the accelerometer or the pressure sensitivity. And so now when I press, it, it gives us vibrato. So all of that stuff is done in code, so you can control how the sound reacts based upon the, the input from the, 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 uh, the different sensors on the iPhone. So there's a lot of flexibility, and you can basically create anything with, with code using uh, software. That is incredible. I need to try this out for myself. That is so cool. Bosco, thanks so much for the insight into the music production process. Let's click Start Coding. The first time you open EarSketch, you get this welcome message and a tour of the interface. In the welcome message, choose English, and then choose Python as your programming language. The tour points out things like the code editor, where we write our code, and the content manager, where we get our sounds. When you're done with the tour, click the plus button in the code editor to start a new script. Now we're getting to the good part. Let's add some sound clips. FitMedia adds an audio file to a specified track at specified start and end times. The audio file will be repeated or cut short as needed to fill the specified amount of time. Type Fit Media with a capital M in the code editor. Then open parentheses, and then the interface automatically puts the closing parentheses for you. I want to play this sound clip. Next to your sound clip is a blue copy button. Click it to copy it over inside the Fit Media function call. It may be hard to keep track of all the great sound clips. You can mark ones you like by clicking the star 
and find them again later by checking the show only box. Next, type a comma and the number one. This tells Fit Media to put your sound clip on track one. Then type another comma and the number one again. This number one means to start playing the sound in measure one to start playing it right away. Then put the last comma and a number like nine. This tells the sound clip to stop playing at measure nine. Measure is a word that comes from the music world. Okay, let's take a listen to my song, Cadence's Big Experiment. When I am authentically me, I shine, so it helps others be free. Well, I'm still a beginner. Like, this song is only 45 seconds long, and most songs are three and a half to four minutes long. But hey, we all gotta start somewhere. Thanks to Emphasis Foundation USA for making this video possible. Check out the Pathfinders Online Institute for more computer science and maker ed content. I had so much fun coding a song today, and I hope you did too. Thanks so much for watching. See you later.